Hello, my name is Zex, and today I'll be flying the Grumman Goose. Uh, this one's made by Buckaroo, and you can download it from his page. Um, I'm actually very nervous make, uh, making this uh, video here because I tend to uh, mess up my wordings and really don't know what to say, but hey, that's me. Alright, well, like any other pilot, I gotta turn on uh, everything. Uh, yes, uh, it works. The vote's there. All right, and uh, also the small hole in the middle of the screen here is actually the gear indicator, which you can also see at the front part here where it's green, the landing gears. Uh, Muckaroo uh, installed both of these things just to make sure. Uh, the gears on this plane take very long to retract and also vice versa. On the left here we have our instrument lights turn them on very very handy for nighttime you got your beacon nav tail and landing uh, lights up here we got all the useful information we need to know from oil temperature to uh, uh, fuel pressure as well as our manifold and our RPMs uh, let's go ahead and uh, pull down our flaps uh, let's turn on the magnetos to full and in this airplane you have to manually press the uh, starter we got the right engine going and we got the left engine going and uh, one cool thing about this airplane is that Buckaroo and implemented uh, engine failures and uh, if you go to uh, the menu bar here you can toggle the engine failures and engine warnings and when you do that you have to follow the proper procedure to start up the engines to warm up the oil and everything however I'm not doing that today alright let's make sure that a mixture is alright and I think we're about ready to go we'll make a short flight out from uh, Victoria Victoria International which is up in Canada uh, about uh, 30 nautical miles away from uh, Vancouver International Airport uh, this is a tailwheel plane as you can see and uh, to fly this airplane you need to pull the yoke all the way back and uh, once the tail lifts off, you have to you can control it by using the rudders, but it's very sensitive, and so a lot of people do crash uh, the first time they fly or even take off from uh, the goose. This is my personal livery here that I created for the Gremlin Goose, uh, as well as other liveries that I've made. This is the Alaska Goose, this is the Alaska 2. Uh, let's see here. The military plane was just the uh, experiment. Uh, Scarlet Black. This is uh, my version of the Scarlet Black. As you can see, I have the N789 written in it, and also just a little bit of scrapes in the front of the nose. This is the original Scarlet Black, which is going to load anytime soon. Mm. No, it didn't load. I think my uh, FG froze on me. Yeah, FG froze on me for a couple of seconds there. Anyways, this is the US Coast Guard, which I also uh, am proud to have created for the Gremlin Goose. Um, and let's see, and that's about it for now. Uh, let's use the Alaska Goose, the green one. Uh, these windows are actually new, uh, about two weeks new before there's nothing there and uh, things were flying at me from all over the place uh, I believe this Gremlin Goose you can actually open the ca uh, the doors let's see here left door awesome and the right door which is on this side here excelente let's close it it's getting cold and let's get ready to take off as you can see my yoke is all the way back and I wanna get the throttle all the way release the parking brakes and hopefully I won't crash 
Now in the uh, we have lift off, and I'm gonna track the gears now. You can see it's not quite there yet. The gears. It's gonna take a long time. Flaps back to default. The gears are still not coming up yet. And I'm going to decrease the throttle to around 25. And the RPMs look good at the moment. Up, oh, the gears are retracted now. Uh, let's take a tour of the cabin. Let's just make sure that I have uh, the cockpits. Uh, the view options enabled here. Yes. This is the outside of the Grumman Goose. Beautiful plane. Uh, I just like talking gibberish. Random things. This is the co pilot seat, as you can see. Very nicely done. Let's take a look in the back. Oh, never mind. We're in the middle. Still in the middle. Aha. Uh -huh. What are these weird masks doing? Huh. There aren't any seat belts either in here. But anyways, we'll be uh, going back to the cockpit now. I'm going to decrease the uh, prop to around uh, 7,000, 17,000. And uh, a good cruise speed for the goose is around uh, 120 knots. Now the tricky thing about the goose is that it glides very, very well. Uh, I'm not sure how to describe it, but it's like it's, it is definitely a glider and so when you do make your approach to land make sure you give yourself plenty of room plenty of lineup and uh, you can uh, bring down your gears around 110 knots and your flaps around there too uh, there are many ways to land this thing uh, I find it easiest to land it using the, my my gears, my two front wheels first, and then easing back on the yoke until my tail hits. Uh, I know Buckaroo uses the other way. Uh, he lands with all three wheels uh, simultaneously. Uh, I find if I do that, I crash. Uh, I'm actually going quite fast right now, around uh, 100 and... Well, 35 knots. This isn't a problem. And there is Victoria over there. I'm actually using my own mouse configuration right now. Uh, I'm only in one mode, but if I right click, I can just look anywhere I want to. And then as soon as I release the right click, I go back to my default view also. Uh, the throttle can be also controlled using my middle mouse button. And uh, if I release everything, I did, I'm controlling the yoke. Uh, the yoke, not the yoke. And uh, my left click button uh, moves my rudder, which is now centered. If I want to click out of this mode, I just uh, mouse wheel down and I'm in my view panning mode and uh, then the regular mouse mode but let's go back into my control mode here 